out of Washington has lit up Twitter and Facebook. Congressman Ron Paul and Barney Frank will be introducing a bill that would end marijuana prohibition. A short time ago, Texas Republican Ron Paul spoke with me about exactly what he's advocating. Take a listen. Well, removing it from the jurisdiction of the federal government allowed the states to regulate it like they would alcohol. And, you know, this is this seems to be strange for a lot of people. But, you know, I'm only going back to 1937 where that's the way it was handled. Uh, the uh, uh, the states always did this. And, and I'm motivated strongly also because the states legalize it for the use of medicinal part purposes. And it is helpful for people who have cancer and are getting ke uh, chemotherapy. So this is not a great, uh, a, a huge radical idea. It's something that uh, was legal for a long, long time. And uh, the war against marijuana causes so much hardship and accomplishes nothing. So I would say that marijuana, uh, as far as causing highway problems, is minuscule compared to alcohol, and yet we knew prohibition of alcohol was very bad. So this is just getting back to a sensible position uh, on uh, how we handle difficult problems, and for me, it should be the states. All right, I, uh, let's, I'm, let the states regulate, and I'm very, I, yes, I agree with that. That's a free market position. It's a Tenth Amendment position. Mr. Paul, one of the debates, though, you came out for legalization of marijuana and heroin. Is that still your view? Well, you know, I've never used the word uh, heroin in my life when I talk about legalizing freedom of choice. And that one, too, was once once legal. And, uh, you know, I concluded that argument, and they sort of got to point when I said uh, when they were making a big deal, you know, your freedom philosophy means somebody, you know, could use heroin. I said, you know, if tomorrow we legalized heroin.